girl. Hey. <laughs> that was super weird. Anyway, hey girl, hey. Um, it is so nice today. It's so nice today in New York City. Yesterday it was a little more cloudy, um, so we didn't do as much. Um, but we did go to dinner, and it. You know what? I always do this. Let me just show you. And then today, I'm gonna to get some content real quick. I'm not gonna make it the whole video. I'm sure that's boring, <laughs> but I'm gonna go do that. We are going to eat today as well. I told y'all before, don't judge me, judge your mama. So we are gonna to go to eat today. It's, I don't know if it's gonna be brunch or what. I'm trying to see if we can get content quickly so we can go eat. Either way, it's gonna be brunch or lunch or something. And like I said, it's a great day. And um, yeah, let's go see what the day holds. We have gotten three outfit shots, which is amazing because last time was horrific. I didn't show you all of them because that's lame and boring. Who wants to see that? But I'm excited about it. Now I have to find some place to change because I have to change outside, which is always a treat. And then we're going to eat at two o'clock. So far, this is a food vlog. <laughs> I'm not meeting you guys. We just ate out a lot this week. So right now, again, my husband's at Home Depot because he needs, I don't know, what do, what do, what do husbands need? Some type of tool? <laughs> I don't know. But I decided to stay in the car. But I do need to go to Sephora because I haven't bought anything from the Sephora sale. Um, I'll show you what I get, obviously, and bring you in there. I'm probably just gonna get my setting spray and a perfume, of course. Um, but yeah, I'll bring you. We haven't really been doing anything but eating and content creation. I know that's boring. So I wanna make sure that I um, show you something else because you know, who wants a boring vlog? So two things. If you guys saw this vlog here, I'll put it up here somewhere. You saw that I was wearing a brown, like a blondish brown wig. And some of you guys said that you liked it, but I cannot figure out how to work it it's just a headband big so i don't know why it's not i'm not it's not like jive in some way so i really need to work on that i have two questions is there anyone on youtube that you watch for um rig wig installations i'm trying to figure out how to do that i just don't want it to look I just don't want it to look bad and I'm not good at wigs. So if there's somebody that you follow for hair reviews and stuff, I would love to know that. Also, if you are in New York, who does your hair? I need somebody to do two things. Do my own natural hair um, because I think it would be a great time to wear it out right now. Well, well, for like the weekend because I have to work out during the week. But I need somebody to do my hair and I also need somebody to make a wig for me because I'm tired of um, headband wigs. I think I want to buy some kinkier hair, try to wear it in a braid out or something. I don't know. I just need some options or even straight really. Um, but yeah, if you know anybody, even if they're on Instagram who makes wigs, let me know because I want to make that move. Thank you. 
They didn't have anything in there. It was a small little Sephora. Um, but of course, I still found something. <laughs> and I'll show you guys later. We're going for a bike ride. Prospect Park, which is the, the big park in Brooklyn, you could come and ride horses. I have never in my life ridden a horse. My husband has apparently, <laughs> um, and he is convinced that he's gonna make me get on this horse. Not today. So you guys saw us um, this morning in Prospect Park riding our bikes. It was beautiful. It was in the 70s. It felt like what, babe? 70? It felt like 77, almost 80 degrees. So we were like, okay, we're going to go home and we're going to go from Brooklyn to Manhattan and go to Central Park. Well, it took about an hour and 20 minutes to get from Brooklyn to Manhattan because DMX passed and they had like a whole, they stopped, like closed down streets and they had a whole thing for, it was just nuts. So now that we are in Manhattan at Central Park, the weather is now in the 50s. <laughs> it's cloudy and it's just cold. <sighs> but we are still gonna go in because we're here and I'm gonna show you some Central Park. had to leave <laughs> my allergies have been great this season so far I felt like it wasn't gonna be bad but you guys I was in the park and there must have been pollen just flowing around and I just I couldn't take it I started having a sneezing fit my husband looked at me and was like oh, okay let's go like it was bad so we left the park and now we're in the car trying to figure out what's next we actually have about two and a half hours to our dinner reservation so yeah let's see how this works out Do you guys remember in this vlog, I'll put it up there somewhere, um, when I was saying that we need to get some pots? Well, <laughs> that was many weeks ago and we still haven't gotten pots. We have been using these old raggedy pots like, we, we're, like we're not grown ups. So today we're gonna try to get some pots and Macy's. I don't think we're buying any, but my husband swears we're gonna be grown ups today and buy some pots. Let's, uh, let's see.
show you guys, I did stop by, I'm in Macy's, but I did stop by the coach. So I wanted to see the mini tabby. And this thing is tiny. There's like, I don't see <laughs> how I could fit anything in it. It's cute, but I don't know. And the pink is different than the other pink. It's cute, I just don't know if I need it. Especially Miss Good with the Manolo Blahnik, dude. Louis Vuitton is closed. I guess that's a sign to keep the money, keep the money in my pocket. So now we don't see the pots that we were looking for. My um, good friend for about whew, a long time. If I tell you how uh, how long, <laughs> you know how old we are. But uh, Nadine, if you're watching, she suggested some pots for us to get. And of course, they're not here. They were here last time we came and we should have bought them, but we did it. And now we're stuck. Okay. Hey girl, hey. So I need you guys help. Um, a few things. <laughs> Mother's Day is very soon and I, don't really have a problem getting stuff from my mom. My mom and myself like the same type of things. Houseware stuff, um, fashion, jewelry, purses, stuff like that. So it's always kind of easy to buy her something. But my mother-in-law doesn't like anything like that. She likes crafts and she likes like cooking and um, I never really know what to get her. It's not that I don't like cooking because I do, but it's the crafts more so that I just don't, I, I'm, I'm lost. So she has like this full room of purely craft stuff. Like you guys, it is immense. So even if I knew something in that craft crafting world, I wouldn't know what to buy because she has so much stuff. Um, so what do you give that person who you don't want to give a gift card to because that's I don't want to give a gift card to my mother or my mother-in-law that just seems terrible to me um, just give me some ideas anything will help I always feel bad because I give her what I give my mom but I know that that's not what she's into um, but like I said I know what mommy likes we like the same thing the other thing or two things <laughs> the other two things are I am looking at a vintage um, speedy a vintage Louis Vuitton because um, I want a speedy. <laughs> I told myself I wasn't gonna get one because um, you start listening to people in your ear and they'll say like how it's basic, but I don't care. Call me basic, <laughs> I want a speedy. So I'm actually looking for a vintage one in particular. Maybe um, one in epi leather. I was looking on Fashion File and I found a few. I'm just trying to figure out what color I should get. Um, if you have a speedy or even if you have one that's not epi leather, tell me what you think about it. I'm thinking about getting the, the 25. Um, I would love to get the Speedy 25 Bandolier, but like it's not on the website. But particularly, I'm really thinking about first getting the Epi Leather Vintage, probably, maybe not vintage, but what I've seen so far is vintage and in that like cognac color, I don't remember the exact name. But if you have that, I would love to know your thoughts on it. And the last thing <laughs> um, that I'm thinking about getting is my husband and I are going on just a small trip. We don't know, um, we don't know like travel, what's going on. We used to travel, guys. My husband and I used to travel at least twice a year. Before the pandemic hit, that year we went to Italy and France? I don't even remember. That, that year we went to two places, because we always do. Um, but there was one year we went to Cuba, Paris, and Cuba, Paris, and Mexico, right? Um, and we just, we we're tired of being in the house. So we are just gonna travel, get the vaccine, and travel, and travel just to like Miami or something, just to get, get back in the groove of, you know, of normal life. But anyway, I said all that to say is that I think I want a little tote bag to travel with. And I'm not buying anything too expensive because remember I told you I am trying to um, save for my birthday present, my 
designer or handbag, whatever that's gonna be for my birthday in June. So I'm thinking about getting the tote bag by Marc Jacobs. They just came out with a leather um, small size and it looks like a lot fits in it. Um, and I think that would be good to travel with. But you know when you're on the airplane, you want a room for your magazines and your laptop and your water bottle. I want a nice sturdy, fashionable bag of course <laughs> to do that with so if any of you have the Marc Jacobs tote I would love to hear your thoughts on that so um yeah now that I've given you all of my problems and asked you to solve it <laughs> thank you so much for watching you guys I love it when you comment I appreciate when you like like the video like the video like the video because it really helps the algorithm for me and it also helps me know what you like to see um, leave a comment share the video and I will see you in my next video